Wow! Pop popcorn, pop popcorn, pop popcorn, pop popcorn, pop popcorn, pop popcorn. Well. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so I'm really reviewing this movie. Hey everybody, <laughs> this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Swiss Army Man. Swiss Army Man has the unbelievable storyline about this man that feels very hopeless. Like he just has no hope in life anymore until he sees a corpse. And so this corpse is Daniel Radcliffe. He is a farting corpse that is also, I guess we could call a man version of a Swiss army knife. Instead of a knife, it's a man doing all of the wacky stuff. And so on this journey, Paul Dano becomes friends with Daniel Radcliffe. With Daniel Radcliffe helping Paul Dano with all his things, he's the only way Paul Dano will be able to get back home. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really was not excited for Swiss Army Man. I really wasn't. Now look, I give it credit. It's an original story, but I just wasn't digging this concept. The first trailer gave me nothing to feel. I felt nothing towards the first trailer. Then I watched the second trailer, and then that's where I honestly just started to pretty much dread this movie. But now that I've seen Swiss Army Man, I can honestly say this movie surprised the hell out of me. Is this a weird as hell? Hell movie. Oh, hell to the fucking yes. This movie is weird as hell. Like, oh my goodness. This might be the most bizarre movie I've witnessed in a long, long time. This movie is freaking nuts. But the surprising part is I knew going in was going to be bizarre. I just didn't expect this movie to be really surprising. This film is from the Daniel brothers. You know, one of them is named Dan, the other one is named Daniel, so they're known as the Daniels altogether. And checking them on IMDb, this is actually their directorial debut, and I have to give the Daniels credit. This film has seriously excellent direction. When I say excellent, I really do mean the direction is excellent. The thing that makes Swiss Army Man such a surprising movie to me is not only the fact that the direction is great and that just on a filmmaking standpoint it's wonderful, but ironically the strangeness of the film really fits the overall storytelling. And where the storytelling goes in this film is truly just something remarkable. And I was actually really surprised on how immersed I was into the storytelling because you follow these two characters with Paul Dano and then Daniel Radcliffe as the corpse. And what honestly surprised me about Swiss Army Man is first of all, this movie is funny as hell. This is a very funny movie. I was laughing a lot. The humor is honestly executed very well and the performances from Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe are just truly remarkable. Paul Dano, he is a really good actor, but I think this might be the best performance he's given in a film. He was just into his character. It's like once they started filming, he's just automatically into this world and you truly buy Paul Dano. And you could see throughout this journey that Daniel Radcliffe has really helped him. Like he really has helped Paul Dano from committing suicide as the movie is taking this journey. The dialogue comes off so naturally. Even though some of the stuff these characters say, mainly with Daniel Radcliffe, because Paul Daniel's more the normal one. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, since he's a weird one, he has all the weird dialogue, but it's all like he says in such a natural manner. And Daniel Radcliffe, 
credit to him because he has to play a corpse and then he has like these eyes going on where his eyes really don't move honestly and I'm sure that's hard to do. When you really look at the film it looks really difficult for Daniel Radcliffe to pull off such a role. Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano, these guys, they mention things that we think that we don't want to mention and the stuff they say is honestly just so true. Just the topics they talk about is just so intriguing to watch because it's so true. You know, as bizarre as this movie is, it's actually surprisingly a very deep movie. As the messages that this movie has going for it, it definitely fits the storytelling. And when you look at a concept like this, this is a movie that if you don't have the right execution, it honestly could have been a terrible movie. But the Daniels seem to understand how to handle such a bizarre concept. And they surprisingly handled this bizarre concept in such an incredible manner. I was also blown away at how beautiful the cinematography looked in Swiss Army Man. Oh my goodness, the lighting, the framing, all those things you need to make very great cinematography is in this film. When you see fire, when you just see the trees, when you see a raccoon, when you see all of these things in this film, it's just truly something beautiful and the cinematography just adds this sense of magic to it and that's weird to say about a movie that deals with a farting corpse and as far as farting I will say I wouldn't say the corpse farts throughout the movie it's just like in the beginning and the end where Daniel Radcliffe does fart there is like one little brief scene in the middle as well but you know, he doesn't do as much farting as you would think, but he's still known as the farting corpse and all that. And I will say how the movie actually handled the farts whenever you do hear a fart from Daniel Radcliffe. It was actually hysterical. I would actually laugh harder and harder whenever I would hear the farts from Daniel Radcliffe. And the soundtrack for the movie is just wonderful. This is definitely one of the most catchiest, most memorable soundtracks I've heard in such a while. The soundtrack really fit the tone of the movie. And this movie also has one of the best montages I ever seen to a movie and I really mean that and when the movie whether it's being dramatic or whether it's being funny the soundtrack just sounds so beautiful and there is so much heart into this movie there's just so much meaning so much detail in a Swiss Army man and then when that whole journey is over you surprisingly walk out of the movie going wow I actually feel good like this movie actually makes you feel good. Wow. Now as far as problems do go with Swiss Army Man, I will say the third act isn't as strong as the first two acts. And don't get me wrong, the third act is still really good. R great actually, it's still great. But I do feel like once the film gets to like the final 10 or 15 minutes, it does start to feel lost. Like the film doesn't know exactly where to end from there. Even though I did feel like the movie ended abruptly, it did have an abrupt ending in my opinion. But how this movie ends had me laughing in tears, even with its abrupt ending. So I still love the third act, but I do feel like once we get to the third act, it just was starting to feel lost. Whereas in the first two acts, I do feel like the movie knew what it was doing. And then it kind of felt like once they got to the third act, the Daniels were having a hard time trying to find that nice right footing on how to exactly end. Overall, you guys, Swiss Army Man is hilarious, it's sweet, it's very heartwarming, it's deep, the messages were just so thought-provoking, the movie has such a beautiful soundtrack, the cinematography is just exceptional, the writing and directing from the Daniels is spectacular, Swiss Army Man is a spectacular movie, and it is going to get four out of four stars. Ah! 
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the movie Swiss Army Man. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.